new business to start, machinery hire. Yeah, socially distanced by about three or four fields away. Crashed into trees. It could be the start of something pretty big, that. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna do a socially distanced plowing video. And if you could help me out and give this video a thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. Thank you for your continued support in these difficult times. There's lots of things, as I've previously said, going on at the moment, and the Ollie's Farm trilogy, which I spoke about in yesterday's video, is one of them. Don't forget as well, you can get your Ollie's Farm uh, iPhone cases. I was asked about that as well uh, in yesterday's video, and they are still available. And you can also get the I'd Rather Be Farming t-shirts and merchandise. They are, they are available, you can buy them from the spring store on the Ollie's Farm page. Uh, and so today it's Sunday, so it's the weekend, and Geoffrey, who's a farmer from next door, has got a Dowdswell plough with a press, which is a piece of equipment which we haven't got on the farm. And we've been calling Geoffrey every year to come and do the ploughing when we've got a certain field which needs ploughing before we then put the spring cropping in. And because it's such a light and sandy farm, when it gets compacted, the sandy land here, it's a really good option to plough it. And so that's why we call up Geoffrey to come in and do the ploughing. And then he's also got a special drill, which is an Amazon combination drill. And Geoffrey uh, farms quite a few fields and farms in this area, so he can warrant the drill and the plough uh, for doing these jobs. And so that's why we don't have a plough on the farm for any of you guys who are asking. I know at the moment I'm looking at my truck. Uh, a truck is something I'm gonna be using every day for work. A plough is only something which on this farm would be used one or two days a year. So it makes more sense to invest in something which I'm gonna be using uh, a lot more. And also something else which has been a recent development is that I've been scanning the uh, AgriHire X-Hire spreaders. So the spreaders which AgriHire have, which are uh, no longer available for hire, which then gets sold. There is a 16 ton one, which I'm looking at perhaps purchasing for the future. And there's an interesting business uh, development from it because it's not just about uh, buying it and doing the muck spreading on this farm or going out and doing contracting. It's also a piece of equipment which I can own and hire out to other farmers to use. And with it being the 16 ton model, the one I was looking at, it's a uh, two ton, it's two tons less than the 18 ton models, but it's still 16 tons, so it's still quite a good size spreader. So that's an interesting um, new business to start, machinery hire. Something some of you guys had said to me in the comments section, I had a couple of comments saying, Ollie, why don't you uh, purchase equipment and hire it out? So what we could maybe do is start uh, buying some small bits of equipment, hiring them out, and then uh, also doing a bit of contracting as well. And you know, it, it goes back to what I was saying, you have to be able to be, um, sort of adaptive to change and the people who can adapt to change will be the ones who will be successful so you've got to do lots of different things and I think that's uh, you know a really good way to be especially at the moment and going ahead into the future so I'll just get the drone started Jeffrey's uh, in the other field with the new Massey Ferguson which he bought last year and you would have seen in the round bailing video he's just over there plowing the vicarage field I was going to park the up on there but unfortunately it's quite wet on there still uh, even though he is plowing it whereas on the stubble field here it is nice and dry so we'll get the drone up and we'll head over and see what what Jeffrey's up to. And as we can see, Jeffrey's ploughing the land. So for those of you guys who aren't from farming, He's ploughing the land over. The land, the soil is being turned over, burying the organic matter. Once the land's been ploughed, the press then follows where the plough has been and then further breaks down the soil. On this light and sandy farm, it's really easy to work down. So by using a press, it's a really good option for working down the land with minimal compaction. Well, it was certainly a bit hairy getting the drone in there. I came down to about 4% battery on the way home, but we did manage to get her back. Sometimes I've crashed into trees, run out of battery and lost drones in the rivers before and I've never seen them again. It's every time I get the drone back is always a good thing and uh, I'll put it back in a case. So another lovely socially distanced video, socially distanced by about three or four fields away. So there could be no confusion, definitely following those guidelines. And I do hope in the future we can start going to shows such as Lama, Agritechnica, Sommer de Lavage in France and also head over to Germany to go and see 
John Deere's Mannheim, which we've been invited to, but of course, due to the lockdown, uh, we haven't been able to go to see John Deere. So I really need the lockdown to lift, and it will, it will. So this is what I'm up to on my weekend, taking in the air on the, on the field which we, which we muck spread the other day with the AH, and this field as well has got to be ploughed or cultivated. I'm not too sure what, uh, what's going to be uh, happening on this one yet, and um, probably be ploughed because it's quite heavily compacted due to the combine running over harvesting it and also as well the heavy equipment the spreader and the baler and the tally handle running, running across the land and i hope as well you guys are having a good weekend i hope you're enjoying whatever you're up to we've got some gorgeous weather and it's nice to get out and about maybe take the dog for a walk go out in the garden enjoy some sun maybe crack a beer open get out a glass of wine perhaps and just enjoy life a bit because that's what you've got to do in life you've got to have fun as i always say work hard play hard and thanks for all of the comments in yesterday's video about the trilogy, the Matthew Ferguson 135, the, the 35X, and of course the Gray Ferguson, which, as I was pointed out, was a four-cylinder tractor. And the Gray Fergusons, although I believe there was some Gray Ferguson TE20s, P3s, which were three-cylinder models, maybe, and maybe I could get hold of one of those, although they're very rare, and I think they're quite difficult to get hold of. A Gray Ferguson TE20, 19... 47 maybe 46 which came out just after the war i think that would be really cool to have a tractor like that which is a real piece of history because for those of you guys who don't know just after world war ii the massey ferguson t20s the gray fergusons came out and they were basically how we got ourselves together food production wise after after world war ii so they are really important tractors the gray fergies so it's important that i get hold of one of those and of course the 35x and the 135 and as i was pointed out as well and um, by some of you guys out there the 135's got the sisters, which is the 165, I believe the 175, the 185, and the 188. Uh, so some really cool uh, combinations there. Imagine one day having the set, the Gray Ferguson, the 35X, the 135, the 165, the 175, 188. I mean, that would just be mega. And that was a dr that's a real dream for me. First of all, to have the trilogy, but to have the full set, that is a dream. And it's something to look forward to, and it's something to aspire to. So that's what I work towards, having a, you know, could, could it be the start of something? It could be the start of something, you know, pretty big. Um, my, my, uh, my tractor collection.